now today i will discuss something about rc coupled common emitter amplifier to amplify to common emitter amplifier two stages they they will be coupled by resistance and capacitance this is the first transistor and pn and there are four resistors used for biasing r1 rl r2 and re the four resistors are used for the biasing this is port 1 and 1 input signal is sent through this port va this is there is a capacitor bypass capacitor ce across the re this is ce capacitor across re now here is a blocking capacitor which is attached at the collector of q1 again there is a four resistor for q2 r1 r2 this is a blocking capacitor c it blocks the dc biasings but it allow the ac signal to pass the ac signal is applied to the base of q2 through capacitor that's why it is called rc coupling there are again four resistors r1 r2 rl and re used for biasing again here is a power supply vcc this is re again the port 33 is output port re capacitor here again a bypass capacitor ce across re here is port 22 now we consider the to study if we consider the first stage of rc coupled common emitter amplifier uh it is shown with the red line the first stage of first stage q1 of rc coupled common emitter amplifier now we are using four resistors for the biasings as a bias network okay with vcc supply so blocking capacitor is c it blocks the dc biasing but allows the ac signal to exit or to ac signal will flow through it and apply to the base of next transistor
So, ese signal is passing. Now, what, what will be the effect of mid frequencies? on the RC coupling amplifier. Unit reactance is 1 upon 2 pi F into C. For the mid frequency, if we apply the mid frequency F here, if we apply the mid frequency numerical value f here xc becomes low so Capacitor act as a short circuit like this is RE, this is the bypass capacitor, but for mid range it acts as a short path. If it acts as a short path, then you know RE becomes ineffective. RE becomes ineffective and uh, the role of RE can be ignored. So if RE is ignored, this register provides a negative feedback so if R E is ignored, there will be no negative feedback. So gain will be improved. But if there is no AC signal, that is at zero frequency signal, So negative feedback register RE becomes active, it comes into the circuit and because of RE then gain reduces, but you know it reduces but it stabilizes, gain becomes stabilized also, you know, there will be improvement and stabilization, but it reduces also. At mid-range frequencies, all reactances remains absent. There's, there will be no role of the capacitive reactances at the mid-frequency. On the other side, R1 and R2 are made very large. They made very large as compared to HIE. So, if the if R1 and R2 are high, then as compared to HIE, they are also ignored. There, there is there will be no role of it in the equivalent diagram because uh, if we are having a parallel combination of two registers, one is high, one is low, then the equivalent resistor uh, resistance comes out uh, 
closer to the low value. So here uh, VI, VI is VB even that is the voltage across HIE because there is the base current is flowing passing here the current generator GMVB E1 RL and HIE of the next stage so here the voltage is VB E2 of the next stage of Q2 VB E1 here VB E2 is here RL and, uh, RL and HIE they are in parallel so we find the parallel combination that is called ZL R1 R2 upon R1 plus R2 formula and voltage is current into resistance what is current that is current generator that is GM into VPE1 you see the previous videos into ZL that becomes VPE2 so this is the parallel combination ZL substituting the value of ZL so VPE2 becomes GM into VPE1 into HIE RL upon HIE plus RL. Voltage gain at the mid frequency becomes VPE2 upon VPE1. This voltage gain it is a negative sign equals to this it is a negative sign so Voltage gain mid frequency for RC copper amplifier is less than the gain of single common emitter amplifier, single stage common emitter amplifier, because in that case it was minus GM into RL only. Where here the gain reduces by a factor. You know how much it reduces by a factor 1 upon. 1 upon 1 plus RL upon HIE now what is the reason of this you know gain reduction the reason is that impedance mismatching impedance mismatching between the output of Q1 and input of Q2 it is mismatched that's why the loss in gain RL is ordinarily large compared to HIE so the gain reduction If we choose some numerical values
then gain reduction comes out to be point fourteen point one four for these values. If there were no uh, there were no bypass capacitor across R E, then there will there can be another loss. And R E if R E comes into circuit which the feedback register, then there is a gain, gain loss is one upon one plus G M into R E. You see the previous video for this. So due to the mismatch, the loss in gain is 1 upon 1 plus RL upon HI. So there are two losses, one due to ammeter register, one due to the mismatch. And two losses will be equal will be because there is GM into RE and here RL upon HIE. So if they are equal, the two losses becomes equal. Thank you. Okay, this was the case.